What's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul in Far Harbor, who is potentially going to have a crisis of faith because of what we learned from last episode. But before we get there, we're going to try to get on Far Harbor's good side by dumping a bunch of meat into the water and basically bringing hellfire death upon our faces. Now, currently we have a 5% damage increase. We have the damage resist from the fried fog crawler and we have the grilled hermit crab endurance and strength up so if I recall there's supposed to be people who are going to witness us doing this Dottie there you go Dottie you're gonna be our witness correct excuse me so the doc asked me to witness so I'm witnessing all right Dottie uh, do your best to stay alive because I doubt that the fog crawler or whatever is gonna come out is going to actually care about if it's you or not you so I guess I just throw the meat in the water then. All right, one mutant hound meat into the water. All right, we got a soft shell mire lurk. That's uh, that's not bad. All right, uh, second, m just a mire lurk. All right, that wasn't too bad too. You know the fact that it's giving us the indicators is really nice. And uh, well, that wasn't too bad. And now I have a bunch of meat to throw into the water, which is. As you can tell, kind of already in the water. So I'm just going to drop the meat that was already in the water back into the water. Whoa, what the? Oh, it's a king. Uh-oh, all right, here we go. This is our first king for us to fight. It's shooting what looks like bubbles. Oh, it's getting turned invisible. Dottie sounds like he's dying. <laughs> All right, well, let's do gun foo number two. All right, we can't do the next one. Hold on, is there anything better than gun food two? I don't know, gun food two. So, in VATS, you do 50% more to your third target and beyond. So, 24 to your second, and 25, 25 to the next second. But now we go up to, th okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, anybody else? No, so we're just gonna take you head on, I guess. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Right claw. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run over here. Fire at the, this Meyer Lurk first. Hit him in the head and then go to you. And now you have a crazy high increase of damage. No, that's not true. You have a 25% increase of damage. That's fine. That's good. We're going to shoot your claw off, big guy. Yeah, no, it's not off. Uh-oh, they're getting close. They're getting close. Just back up. Oh, my God. Heals away. Heals away. Holy crap. Jump. All right. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to shoot at Dottie. I, yeah, I want to go for the Mire Lurk here. Hit that once. Get the damage bonus on you now. Oh, we don't have a lot here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Okay. I got it. Buff Jet. No! Oh! Reload faster, you son of a bitch! Pew, pew, pew! Holy crap. Pew, 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 pew! Oh, God. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Couple waters. We're hydrated. Wow, that Meyer Lurk is just flipping out. Yeah, we took out a hunter and a king. That's... No! Why is it a legendary? Okay. Um, What did I say about the weapons we had with us? Screw it. Here we go. Boom. That actually does some good damage. Fire again. It's not bad. Oh, we just died. Never mind. Son of a bitch. Also, Dottie, you were not very helpful. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I do feel like the problem is that when that Meyer Lurk, holy crap, comes out, we should just run. Get as much distance as possible from it, and I think that's gonna be the winning key. And of course, once we're far enough from it, we'll be able to do a really good job of just firing at it because the thing is the biggest problem that exists with these guys is that the Myrler Queen is a long distance fighter as well as an up close one. She hits crazy hard and then she melts through your armor with this acid spit stuff. So I want to try to minimize um, how much she's able to really do with that. And I think some distance on her would help a lot. Plus, we can start dropping mines, which is where our real power will come from. All right, can the Mire Lurk meet? All right, there he is. 
that dude. Come on, gross boy. Yeah, get over here. All right, we're gonna actually take normal psycho. We're not gonna take any special type of psycho right now. Normal psycho, baby. Ow. But guess who's gonna die? All right, you. That's a weird sound. It's a really odd sound. Holy crap, can't move, can't move, can't move. Hold on, we know where the Mylar Queen's gonna come out of. She's gonna come from here, remember? So if we're aware of that, don't you think we can, oh, here we go. Perfect thing again. Uh, fire at you. And uh, I guess fire at his claw. With everything else we have. I'm, am I hitting the Mylar Hunter? Critical hit, that will definitely hit the Mylar Hunter. And they're now going in order. Oh God! Just see, keep firing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Got him. Psycho was the right thing to take. That was perfect. Okay. Oh, she's here. She's here. Uh, uh. Just throw it out. It's just run. Is. Second. Come on, I'll go. All right, all right, we're injuring her. Let's get out the explosives that we have access to. All right, she's spitting her goop at us. Fire missile two. It hit her. Oh, we got hit by the goop. Okay, okay, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Yeah, Marlark jerky. Let's rock it. She, something else hit me. But she hit the bottle cap mine, and it caused her to restart. I know I'm mildly dehydrated. Let me just drink some water. Just keep drinking all the water. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage to her. Why am I not reloading my gun? I'm in the water, that's why. Woo! Get underwater. It can't poison you when you're under the water. Okay, we know where she's coming from. Final bottle cap mine. We actually, not the final bottle cap mine. Gah, keep running. Ow, it hit me. It's it's still cutting through my health. Come on. Oh, I can't see her any longer. Now I can. I don't know how much damage this is doing. You know what? Ma Thorata, we need a critical. She's releasing the little ones. All right, let's go off in this direction. Just... <gasps> she hit it! Yes! We got it! Oh, you stupid! Two-shot radium rifle. That's probably, like, the greatest weapon that could possibly exist. But not for us. Like, I gotta say, that's probably the best weapon that could exist, but not for us. Oh my god, I am super excited about killing this thing, and very bummed out about this fact. In my personal playthrough, I have picked up this same weapon. As you can see, look how much ballistic damage this does, even without any perks for the rifle selected. It's a standard receiver. It's standard, it hasn't been leveled up at all. And the thing that really is the kicker is it fires two shots per round. It is insanely powerful. What is this? This thing is so cool looking. I'm picking it up because it's just so cool looking. Oh my God, we did it. Dottie, that was pretty cool, wasn't it, huh, Dottie? You like that? Hey there. Did you see what you just Holy! What you? What? What I just did? <laughs> yeah, I was there. All right, let's uh, let's go back in here real quick. Oh wow, this is really green dust looking. Oh well, let's uh, I took his pillow. Yes, no pillow for him. All right, now that we have a save, I guess we're just heading back to Acadia or back to uh, Far Harbor. I mean, oh, we do have our level up. That's right. You know, I keep finding ourselves f shooting specifically at a single opponent a lot while we're running around. 
rather than this what I expected from Gunfu. But I don't care. You know what? We were going for it. Let's keep going for it. I'm excited about it. Also, look, so one of you was talk. Okay, so this does 77 damage now, does it? Yeah, 77 compared to the 80 that the Ooh Baby does. But it fires two shots and it has radiation damage. So basically, you can't heal that radiation damage that it hits with. Oh, man. So there's a thing that gets me about this. All right, let me let me give you a demonstration of the of the shooting power. So we fire the shot. As you can see, there is a single bullet hole. There should be a second one somewhere. There we go. If I don't aim down the barrel, you see it fires the two shots like a shotgun. There it is again. Incredibly powerful. Amazing weapon. It's, uh, one of you brought up that I could use a radium rifle because it was a radiation weapon. That makes sense. And I personally feel like we built a pistol build. That was the whole point, was to play with the pistol build. Yes, this rifle is insane. So much better than pretty much any of the other weapons that we have available. But that's kind of what makes these builds fun, is that we focus not on what's best, but what is on the characterization of the guy. The guy uses pistols. That's who our ghoul is. Hold on, can I have another, uh, like, magic moment if I do this? Oh my god, you can! Whoa! But there's no figure that shows up or anything. Hold on, is anything happening in my, uh... No, it doesn't pop up and say anything. But it does make the effect all wibbly wobbly again. Whee! I wonder if creatures don't fight me. Oh, I wonder if that's what that does, if it keeps them from fighting you. This is very uncomfortable walking around like this, though. Very difficult to see where I am going. Oh, it's turned back. At the same time, Psycho Ward off. Okay. Nice. Hey, I know where we are. This is where we fought a bunch of the gulpers. I remember this spot. It's a cool boat here on the way as we're uh, just making our journey back to Acadia. Not bad. There are vicious wolves at what looks to be a campsite. I wish that... There we go. Now, hit you. Okay. Alright, so that was a significantly bigger amount of damage, I see. Now... Nah, so it doesn't stack. So it has to be... I have to be shooting an actual third target for that effect to occur. Rather than shooting... Um, like, back and forth between two targets. I was curious about that. But it's it's good to know that basically what this ensures is if our character is surrounded, we're able to stack the amount of damage that we're able to do significantly. Uh, ribcage and pelvis take? No, I, th I think I'm good. <gasps> yes! We can sleep in the tent! That's really cool. And they had glue. And they were taking pictures of camera. And they had a lot of pre-war money. And a... Was this just somebody who was camping? When the bombs fell? Or was like trying to escape society? Oh, that disgust... Remember the lover's quarrel thing that we talked about when we were getting the bomb code? That talk about society's over. Like, what do you care about getting paid? I felt like that was really beautiful of... An idea. Not that I like the idea of post-apocalyptic, I don't care about getting paid sort of things, but like, oh, we just walked under that. But like, it's, it's this kind of idea that I have a hard time grasping, where for me, I live in a house, you know? I have a green screen behind me, technology. Without you dudes here watching them this kind of thing, like, it's, you guys make this possible. You make it a thing for me to be able to do this and to make it potentially become a long-term career. If the world suddenly, you know, needed corn way more than it needed YouTube videos kind of thing, which sounds like a stupid statement, but when you have an, a surplus of corn, eventually someone wants to have a little fun. Then it becomes that level of like, if you've ever were, read World War Z, there was a chapter that was about people who had lived lives as accountants, as lawyers, suddenly, being taught by the people who were like once their gardeners and they're like day laborers and mechanics and just people who had really useful skills for the development of cultural aspects like building a fence fixing a radio 
versus like I know the legal statutes of law kind of thing. All right, we have three Yao guys. Let's try this. Get in the middle of all three. You, you, and you. Boop, boop. Critical on you. I don't know how much more extra damage we're getting from this gun fu moment. I don't like being in the center of a bunch of bears either. I feel that this may have been a wrong decision. I'm gonna shoot your high five and shoot your high five. Critical. Okay. I'm scared of these bear sounds that they're making. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh-oh, reload, 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 reload. I had a question the other day. Uh, another comment, which was, Kublai, why do you get into fights that are pretty clearly stupid and bad for you? And my answer was because it's more entertaining, I think, than it is sneaking around being careful. Sorry for kicking the camera. Yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the way that that works. It's, uh, I, c I think it's more fun when it's just like, oh my god, what is happening? There we go. Able to carry just fine. We're really close to Acadia too. I haven't actually entered Acadia from like a pathway in a long time. This reminds me a little bit about walking up to uh, the top of the mountain in Skyrim, where the uh, the voice guys were. You know, it's just a big windy back and forth. Okay, like, uh, kind of cool. And uh, ooh, ooh, purified water stuff that's useful to us. I should probably like pick around this place a little bit more. I mean, they've got a lot of buildings. So I bet there's some cool stuff here. All right, before I do anything, it's all about saving because I feel like there's gonna be some serious moments coming up here. Did you and need something? No, I don't. I just need to just need to do this. Oh, I can't believe Cole is gonna become the new child of Adam, dude. I think he's such an interesting person for taking that Another on as his okay. his choice. I'm just I mean, gotta keep telling myself I'm better off here than. I think I feel like Naveen would have actually may not look like made be a good of option for this instead it's because he actually didn't gun. know what he wanted to do with his life. <clears throat> I totally forgot about wearing this when we we're fighting the Mirelurks. It would have been perfect. <sighs> Oops. Word is you were asked to go check out some boat for Faraday. Yeah. Like storage drives or something, right? Okay, I need you to come with me for a minute. We're gonna go have a little chat with Jeweled, and if I know her. She's hiding out. Well, why? This is weird. Why, uh... What's wrong with the storage drives? Man, Acadia's hey there, plot Joe. thickens. I need you to tell our friend here what you told me. What the fuck, Khan? That was between us! Skip it, okay? He's here to help. Promise. Fine. I don't see the point. I guess Naveen's right, hearing look. too. You know my head is messed up, right? Brain scrambled or whatever. I keep having these dreams. They're sort of like dreams, I guess, but it's like they're more real. There's... God, this is so stupid. There's this boat, and <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> and I hear screaming. I think it's me screaming, but I can't be sure. <laughs> and that's it. Sounds awful. That sounds awful. I'm sorry you're going through this. Okay, let's not get all sappy. <laughs> I thought it was all bullshit, only. Okay, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I found this key. It's I had oh. it somewhere. It's fuzzy, but I swear it's connected. It means something. And Cog said he knows what, and he says you know too. So just take it and, I don't know, fix this. That's the key. Yeah. You buy something or what? <clears throat> Hold on. What what does this mean? So, you see why I wanted you to know about this, right? That boat Faraday wanted you to find. It's connected, right? Got yeah. It. Please tell me you're going to go check it out. Yeah. I'll make sure I take a thorough look. Thanks. I mean it. Just if anything turns up, you come tell me. Not Jewel, okay? You and I can sort this out. Sure. This is really interesting to me because we there was that comment he was like, You sure there wasn't three? That was a thing that he had said. And we were like, Oh yeah, don't worry about it. You know, this boat isn't too far away. I think this might be the next mission that we do. 
So I'm debating on not going to Dima right now because I don't there, there just feels like There could be another crazy the shit Stadium thing going on from the I'm not entirely the sure the world. I'm gonna drop a save Just to make sure that there isn't some crazy event that we're gonna lose out on if we go check out Can the I boat all right, what I mean I is if we go talk to Dima, knowledge? and he says, go back to the yes. Nucleus. What is it you All right, let's go ahead and talk to Dima to see if whatever he says screws up this potential boat thing that's going on with Faraday, who is acting a little strange about all of it. Dima, I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. Yeah. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this uh -oh. all plays out more smoothly. Oh no! You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, return here and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? Tell me about the replacement. How are the preparations coming along with the replacement? The initial stages have gone well. Though the reduced time frame raises some concerns, but oh. he should be ready by the time the deed is done. Okay. I'm ready. ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here. The tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. Martin's new age. So, what this means to me is that we might actually end up killing Gwyneth to get Martin to trust us. I mean, what, how, we'll complete everything if we do. It's terrible. Listen, children. Tectus' time is over. The Nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. Well, that's, uh, it's pretty basic, but I guess that would be enough to, uh, spook Tectus, because yes. it sounds real. All right, he doesn't say anything about the boat or whatever. All right, so we've got ourselves our missions to do. Now, this is gonna be a little bit out of like an annoying direction kind of thing. Uh, Cause the nucleus is way over here. We have investigate the boat over here. And I, I wanna do this because I think people would appreciate that. And this should be actually pretty quick. This is not that long of a walk. However, this part might be incredibly long, but there might be some more missions that we can do along the way. So I'm not 100% sure what the next steps are going to be in relation to it. But I'm thinking probably this way, maybe pick up a few missions down this direction, or we could start this direction and wrap back that way too. Not sure, we'll see. But anyway, dudes, thank you so much for coming by. It was a total joy to have you. We're really doing it. We're really going in this direction, this cruel, twisted direction to get us a fake Tectus so that we can keep peace on the island. I dislike the idea. It was basically like, I, I don't like how we did it with Avery. I don't like that. I mean, I wasn't a part of it and the dice have already been rolled. So it's like, we could keep playing. We could keep playing that game or we could potentially, you know, tell Far Harbor the truth was the other potential as a thing to do. And if we did that, there was real value because it was, you know, we tell the truth and he, Dima turns himself in and then Maybe they're not as crazy, but they certainly have shown that they were very crazy and angry. So, <laughs> anyway. And then, w with Gwyneth, that's the part that really terrifies me. Is that if we really want to be on his good side, we're going to probably kill Gwyneth. Because we didn't chase her off. We didn't bring her back. <sighs> A lot of people have died. And an innocent has died because of Avery and we've killed a lot of people but we haven't killed any innocents in this fight so far 
we have not killed any innocent individual so far. However, we're going to have to figure out a way to sort of rationalize taking out Gwyneth if we're going to do it. Because, I mean, another person is probably going to do it anyway. Um, unless, you know, we get on the good side of the dude and then, of course, no one's going to kill her. So she might not need to be killed. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, no. This is going to be tough. Uh, I'm going to think on it. We'll see what we do. But dudes, I thank you just so much. I couldn't get the words out because I was going to say thank you for coming by. And of course, when the grand rise to meet you, when the wind always be at your back and may the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later.